Hi guys, Nick here from technologic.com and today we're gonna do a special unboxing of a battery beast phone which is in the market. Yes, you are right, the Zenfone Max. Before the video gets started, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red icon down below which will definitely going to help my YouTube channel to grow. So let's get started. So when we take the box in our hand, there is a Zenfone Max written on top of it with a Zenfone Max photo and uh, at the left there is something written in the Chinese and there is Asus branding at the another side as well and at the back it shows some of the specifications of the device now I just open up the pack and make you see what will comes with the box so first of all here comes the device itself as you can see I just make it out and this is the device in my hand I just keep it aside and make you see what will comes with the box here first it comes with uh, some of the manual which is in English language normal micro usb data cable with asus branding on it here it comes with the otg cable as well you don't need to separately purchase it it also has a asus branding on it and it also being used for charging the other devices due to which this is a battery beach for all the devices out there here it also comes with the normal charger it is not a fast charger when i tested the device it takes about four hours to charge from zero to hundred percent so the device didn't come with the, any kind of earphones which is uh, nowadays common so when we come to the device itself at bottom it is having a micro usb port with a primary mic beside it and nothing else uh, just a golden border alongside to, to the phone at left side there is nothing just a plain bezel a golden feel at the top there is a 3.5 mm audio jack and nothing else no air blaster at the right you are having a volume rocker as well as the power lock key which gives a quite good head to feedback and uh, these both the buttons are having some kind of pattern on it which make it easy to find it while you are using single handed at the back there is a asus branding also with the leathery finish and above that there is a 13 megapixel camera with a laser autofocus and the dual led flash which is good for the device and above the camera there is a noise cancellation mic as well when you come to down there is a zen phone branding and below that there is a speaker which produce a really good sound and when we open up the back panel of the device it is pretty hard to open the back but you will manage to do it there is a dual sim support where you can use 4g in both the sims at the same time and uh, there is a micro hd card slot also which support up to 64 gb capacity which is great as this device comes with only 16 gb storage and there is a non-removable battery as well which is the beast here for the device which is 5000 mAh which is really very good no other device in this price or even more is offering such a battery backup and you can even charge other devices using the OTG cable when we come to the weight of the device it is 202 grams which is not bad because this device is a beast for the battery and the battery of the device is always heavy so let's do the first boot of the device here is the asus in search of incredible powered by android and i just skipped this part and after configuring it i'll be right back so as always this is the zen ui and after the first boot itself there are so many updates that i don't even know there is also a software update for 304 mb i have just done with it and it takes about uh, an hour for me to boot this device so many software i have uninstalled many of them like snapdeal app flipkart app and numerous applications so this device comes with android 5.0 inbuilt in it and when you come to the setting it shows the model number z010d one more thing like if you want to activate the developers option you just go to software information and click seven to eight times on build number and then there will be a developer option where you can customize your device according to your usage like usb de debugging animation speed and various things and the available storage from 16 gb over here is 7.60 gb where i have not installed single application on it let's start some of the specification which comes with this device it comes with 5.5 inch hd display with 13 megapixel back camera a 2 gb ram and a snapdragon 410 processor which is average for this kind of device the battery life is best 5000 mAh and it is a ips capacitive display with 267 ppi it also comes with corning gorilla glass 4 with zen ui and uh, the gpu it comes with its adreno 306 so overall the device is good the full camera review and the phone review will be coming soon that's it for the video anyway thanks for watching guys if you want to see more of this stuff be sure to hit the like button and do comment and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter and make sure to check out my other youtube videos so see you guys in my next video till then see ya